uh, you know, Cincinnati had a major, major win, definitely their biggest win um, in school history, defeating Notre Dame 24 to 13. And, you know, looking at the top five here um, in the AP poll, you know, Alabama's number one, Georgia's number two, Iowa's three, and Penn State's four. Alabama will play Georgia, and Iowa will play a Penn State. So if Cincinnati wins out, which I would say they will, the American is an underrated conference. We've seen upsets at times before, like UCF has had some upset losses the past couple of seasons. Um, I think there's a legitimate case that Cincinnati is a playoff team. I think they're a legitimate case that they should be a playoff team right now. Obviously, you know, these AP poll rankings don't mean jack squat when it comes to uh, when the playoff uh, committee you know, releases their top 25 rankings. But, you know, Cincinnati defeated Indiana. Indiana does not have a good record, but I think they're better than people give them credit for. Notre Dame at times is overrated, but I, I don't think they're bad. But it's one of those things, for instance, take last year when Clemson beat Notre Dame. Oh, Clemson's so good. When Cincinnati beats Notre Dame, oh, well, you know, Notre Dame's overrated. It, it's, it's such a, you know, D- double standard type of deal since Cincinnati is a small school. Um, I Cincinnati deserves to be in the playoffs. You know, there's been lots of rumors with the you know college football playoff expanding to more teams uh, being involved, but there has not been a group of five team more deserving in the playoffs this year than Cincinnati. If they could win out, there's no reason why they shouldn't be. If Cincinnati were to play Ohio State right now, I honestly think Cincinnati would win. If Cincinnati, if Cincinnati were to play some of these other you know top six, seven schools, I think they would have. You know, some good games. Obviously, not, they would not beat Alabama. Obviously, they would not beat Georgia. But for any other team, I think they would compete with them. And, I mean, look at the, like, ratings and how much money you would get, even, even at that standpoint. With Cincinnati against Alabama, I mean, look at how many fans, you know, packed, you know, Notre Dame Stadium uh, for Cincinnati. You know, there was such a, you know, top game to watch. Uh, it would really help, you know, the college football playoff get more money when it comes to ratings because it's a small school, potential upset alerts. And I mean, we just you we want to see this small. I don't I don't even like Cincinnati. Like I, I don't like Luke Fickle at all, but I want to see Cincinnati in the college football playoffs. It's bound to happen. It needs to happen. And if it doesn't, it just proves that there's never going to be a group of five team in the playoffs, as long as it's a, a four team uh team in the college football playoffs. I, I certainly think if Cincinnati goes undefeated, it is almost a guarantee to make the playoffs. I actually think there's a good chance it might even be a two seed, the second overall team in the playoffs. Like you said, Alabama, Georgia, Iowa State, Penn State, those are games that are going to be happening here in the near future. I think Cincinnati, Cincinnati jumps both of whoever loses in those games. So obviously they're already in the three seed. And if Penn State were to beat Iowa, they still have Ohio State. They still have Michigan. They've got a really tough schedule ahead of them. So there's a case to be made. They lose another game. And all of a sudden, Cincinnati's right behind Alabama or Georgia for the number one overall seed, which is insane to think, but is possibly true at the same time because – I think right now Cincinnati by far has the easiest schedule remaining of the of those top five teams. I think their hardest game is against SMU right now. So, I mean, they have no business losing any of the games they play for the remainder of the season. They have proven themselves against Notre Dame and Indiana, who are two pretty solid teams in college football right now. I think this is a team that seriously could be the two, second overall seed in college football uh, when it's all said and done this, this this year. And I think that is really exciting to see because it's, I think Cincinnati certainly deserves it. Luke Fickle has done a fantastic job with this team, completely turning them around, making them fantastic. Still have one of the best defenses in the nation, Majai Sanders, Ahmad Sauce Gardner. It's a great team all around uh, with those guys. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with how uh, Desmond Raider is able to pop back up and, and continue to perform well whenever needed. I just think this is a complete team right now, and this is the best they're probably going to ever be in Cincinnati history. So I think you know, my, my, you know, this is this is a time where if you're a Cincinnati fan, you should be all in right now on the Bearcats because this, this is a legit team, and the, people need to get get excited about them because. I mean, they should be going 12 and 0. They will be going 12 and 0 this year. Um, you know, it's pretty obvious they're going to be at least a three seed as long as they win out. Possibly a two seed at Penn State or to you know win against Iowa and lose again. I think this is a team that is really going to the next level, and I'm really excited to see how this all turns out. Uh, I, I am really impressed with how they performed so far, and I think you know I, I still expect Georgia and Alabama to certainly be the the top dogs and probably make the playoffs as well. Uh, and you know between Iowa and Penn State, I could see one of those teams still being in it. Uh, but it, it, I really think Cincinnati is right there in the thick of things in talent compared to some of those teams. Georgia's 
I think the best team in the league, team in the league right now. Alabama's probably a close second. I would stick Cincinnati at third, and that's, that's how confident I am with their roster. And you look at Alabama and Georgia. To me, I really feel like they're just in a league of their own right now. I mean, they're in the top two teams, and everybody else is in a major just uh, tier below them. But something else, I mean, Iowa and, you know, Penn State are sneaky in, in the top five. Like, nobody really talks about them much, which in a way, you know, I, I know this might sound kind of weird. This might actually hurt Cincinnati. You know, obviously they play each other. But, you know, Ohio State's right behind them a couple spots back. And Ohio State plays both those schools. I mean, if Ohio State has two top ten wins against Iowa and Penn State, and their only loss is to Oregon, who is a top ten team, you know, they lost to Stanford this past week, I mean – then there's a case, you know, Ohio State has a legitimate chance to probably jump Cincinnati, which would absolutely suck. I've seen lots of bold predictions. I have Ohio State playing Cincinnati, but not in the playoffs. Now, if Cincinnati's in the playoffs, and if they would get a two seed, which it'll be very interesting because, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, obviously, I feel like Georgia and Alabama are both going to be undefeated heading into the SEC championship game. And whoever loses that game, I feel like if Alabama's number one, they might drop to number two. And if, if Georgia's two, and if they lose, they might drop the three. I, I, I really don't know because, I mean, if you have an undefeated uh, Cincinnati team or a one-loss Georgia or Alabama, and their only loss is to the other team I just said, I mean, you can make a case that Cincinnati should remain number three, even though they're undefeated, but the, you know, strength of schedule with Alabama playing Georgia and vice versa – but, you know, the thing I mentioned with Ohio State, I, I feel like that's interesting because you look at Michigan, I mean, they're also in the top 25. And this Ohio State team right now is it, very lucky, uh, lucky to only have one loss. You look at Oklahoma, they're lucky to be undefeated right now. You know, they play Texas, which, is, you know, they might lose this week. But you look at these games, like, you know, lots of things have went, you know, Cincinnati's way. They have the biggest one in uh, school history. Oregon loses to Sanford. Uh, you know, Oregon's now done. There's no chance they're in the playoffs, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, there's still some things of, of some things, you know, like Ohio State will win out. If you're Cincinnati, then it starts getting concerning because obviously Alabama and Georgia, I mean, they're basically locks to get in. But with Cincinnati getting, uh, excuse me, if Ohio State wins out, then that's your three team. Then it's a matter of Cincinnati uh, undefeated. Obviously, they should but with Oklahoma if they were to win out or, you know, one of these other teams. It's interesting. And if Cincinnati were to get in, I really, really, really hope they're a two seed. And I, I want them to play Ohio State so bad. They would beat Ohio State right now, in my opinion. I freaking hate Ohio State. I mean, we, we're both, you know, kind of local and stuff. We don't live that far away from each other. I, I guarantee you, I mean, you've seen some stupid, biased Ohio State fans. I mean, they have some of the worst fans in the country. I mean, oh, I'm a, oh who the Buckeyes play? You know, stuff like that. And they, they can't name one player. It's just very frustrating. Ohio State fans are the college football equivalent to Steeler fans. They're, they're horrible. I want to see Cincinnati play Ohio State, regardless if it's in the playoffs or regardless if it's in the bowl game, because I really feel like the Bearcats right now uh, would, be, would beat Ohio State. I, I really think the worst-case scenario for Cincinnati playoff-wise is Iowa beats Penn State, Iowa goes undefeated, and then you see Ohio State or Oklahoma run the table and perform fantastic, just def- blow out every team. Ohio State has Michigan, has Penn State. If they win those two games, they are shooting up the rankings. I mean, that is the worst-case scenario for Cincinnati because I definitely think, you know, you could make an argument an 11-1 and Ohio State team if they – improve a lot and get a lot better if Oklahoma is able to pr- improve a lot get a lot better to still be undefeated in the Big 12 there's a case to be made those teams could possibly pass Cincinnati and if Iowa's still ahead of them already you, you know of course Georgia and Alabama are still going to be up there probably ahead of them as well um that that's that's worst case scenario and that's absolutely going to be the downfall I think of Cincinnati trying to make the playoffs but I think right now um Cincinnati's position where they're the five seed they're probably going to go undefeated you know, it is, it is a guarantee that two of the top four teams are going to lose a game eventually. So they should hop them as long as Ohio State and Oklahoma don't make too much noise and impress too much. I, I don't think, you know, even if Oklahoma and Ohio State win out, I don't think they're guaranteed to make it. They have to blow teams out and just impress all around. I mean, if they beat Penn State by 35, then we're talking, right? Like it has to be blowouts. It has to be convincing. And I think that, you know, as long as that does not happen, Cincinnati's in a good position to, to win. But it is not impossible that Cincinnati uh, does not make it while being undefeated. And that is still just crazy to imagine because, I mean, what else do they need to do right at this point, right? 
So let's say Ohio State, you know, they don't – let's say that they lose a game. Obviously, Iowa plays Penn State. Let's say one of those teams are in it. So it's Bama, Georgia, Iowa, or Penn State for the number three. Number four is an undefeated Cincinnati or an undefeated Oklahoma. Which team would you put at number four? I mean, based off of what I know right now, watching these rosters play and perform, Cincinnati – has the better overall record, in my opinion, and schedule. Uh, just, just uh, they're the better team, right? I mean, uh, you know, Oklahoma has barely dodged uh, several losses, even against Tulane, right? Like they're playing these teams super close, and I, we have yet to see Cincinnati play a uber close game against a below average team, right? Like maybe if they play South Alabama close, then we can have a conversation, or if they play, um, you know, Temple close, then we can be talking or something like that. But until they do. I'm putting Cincinnati in front because they have they've just been proven they've proved to me that they can blow out any team that isn't Notre Dame and even then they can still be the better team than Notre Dame right I, I mean they, they, the schedule gets, schedule gets a lot easier for them down the line and if they play like they did against Notre Dame it's going to be easy wins from here on out so they continue to blow out teams by 21 28 plus you're in a perfect position to, to continue to be in the playoffs there's no reason for you to drop any lower right even if I were to play well um, Oklahoma would have to just be I mean, unstoppable. They had to be, be they had to be beating Big Twelve teams, good Big Twelve teams. I mean, by like I said, 28, 35, kind of like Ohio State is. They just need to, they need to earn their wins over Cincinnati. And Cincinnati is not going to be letting up anytime soon. They're going to be blowing out all these teams out of the water. So Oklahoma has to do that and some for them to be able to make it. So I'll take Cincinnati right now. I think, I think it's a pretty low chance Oklahoma makes it because I do think they probably lose a game this year. I'm not impressed with Spencer Rattler or that team much at all. It's interesting. I mean, this is Cincinnati's biggest win in school history over Notre Dame. This college football season has just been so weird. There's been so many teams who expect to be good who are not. You know, I, heading into the year, I thought Clemson was stupidly overrated. I'm just so overrated. I mean, I, I did not think they were bad enough to not be in the top 25. I mean, they're not even in the top 25. If you look at Oklahoma, they haven't been playing good even though they're undefeated. Ohio State has lost. Oregon loses to unranked Stanford. Um, it, it's just weird, you know, Iowa and Penn State, like I mentioned, I mean, they're not being talked about, but they're both in the top four. Oklahoma, to me, kind of reminds me of 2014 Florida State. If you go back to that year, that was Jameis Winston's second year of Florida State, full-time starter. They went undefeated. There were so many games they should have lost, and it was so close. And then when I finally play a really good team, I think it was Oregon, uh, the first game in the playoffs that year, they got absolutely killed. Winston was horrible. Just our whole team was horrible. I think they ended up losing by like 30 or something like that. But it's like Oklahoma reminds me of, of that team this year. Ohio State even at times reminds me of that team this year. I mean, they, I know Ohio State lost to Oregon, who's one of the better teams in the country. But, I mean, you look at it. I mean, there's been times that both these teams, even though combined they only have one loss, I mean, they just do not look good as opposed to Cincinnati. I mean, they beat Notre Dame by double digits. I mean, and Fickle, you know, he's known to run up to score. I mean, there's no way they're going to not, there's no way they're going to stop doing that because they need all the, you know, bragging points and everything like that they can possibly get to, you know, help their case to the playoffs. It's interesting. Um, as of right now, in my opinion, I, I feel like Cincinnati has to be in the playoffs. It, it's in, uh, really, really interesting if they can win out. I would, I would assume they will. I mean, with that Alabama and Georgia and the Iowa and Penn State, both those those teams play each other. At least two of those teams are going to have a loss. Could really help their case. If Ohio State or Oklahoma will lose, I mean, that really helps their case, you know, so much. 